Okay, there we go. Now we're recording. You should be ready for mailbag in just a second. All I need to do is grab a pile of mail. It's right in the name. Uh, where's the letter? Here we go. We'll just start. Let me double check our cameras, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Let me move this over too, because this is too, too silly. Hey buddy, hi, can I move this? You want to get out of it before I do? It's got to, sometimes it just sort of inverts itself for no reason. Okay. Let's, okay, now let's check the camera. Happy Sunday, everybody. Yeah, that angle's not bad. I could be, I could be a little closer, but I think that's that'll do. Uh, and let's double check, make sure the right microphone is on. So it is, and that nobody's complaining on Discord that I can't be heard or seen or. Smell. Nobody's ever complained about that one. All right, looks like we're good. So, uh, mailbag today. Uh, there's no real news today because we went over the news yesterday, and I know that hasn't been uploaded yet, so if you missed it, it's too late. But uh, there's not too much that's important to cover anyway, except that uh, these kids, all of these kids, are going for their spays and neuters this week. They'll be going, I think it's some of them on Tuesday and some on Thursday, something like that. And uh, um, I don't remember exactly, but I do know that we still need applicants and the doctors for some of them. So if you were thinking about applying to adopt uh, one of these kittens or their mom, Cahoots, who, by the way, is super affectionate and playful. And I know you guys don't get to see that as often as you should. She's wandering around right now. Maybe she can get up this and play during mailbag. In fact, she wants to play right now. Hi, sweetheart. Um, she also definitely needs an adopter. Now, she does not get along well with other cats right now. And I don't know if that's just the way she's going to be forever uh, or not. But I would say just to be on the safe side that if you do want to adopt her, you should adopt her with one of her kittens. They're, they're great together. Um, but uh, you should at least consider uh, adopting her, you know, uh, without any other cats except for her own kittens. So, you know, by herself or with a kitten, you know what I'm saying. We've been over this before. Um, she's just, she's sweet and, and wonderful and, uh, and playful. And she just went over there and just started biting on her kitten because she wants to play. <laughs> Um, oh, we had the KA Superlative Awards last night where everybody that's on the Discord server uh, gets an opportunity to vote for uh, kittens and cats over in certain categories. For the We've been doing this every year. Um, and, uh, you know, it's sort of just the best of, uh, I, I don't know. There's categories like the most floofiest or the most playful or the silliest. And uh, you just vote for which kitten of the year. Uh, you think fits that category. And uh, I got to say, I was surprised because DJ, I know, voted for like Scooty, uh, uh, that's uh, Scotty, um, for like every category. But uh, I was surprised that she didn't win every category. In fact, Cahoots actually took quite a few of those categories. Like, I think the one that was the most uh, talkative and the one that was the most playful or something. Uh, I don't I don't remember all the winners now, but I do remember that Cahoots won a lot more than I expected. So so she's a winner and uh, still needs applicants to, to find her home. So that's the, that's the last thing she really has to win this year. Uh, also, two other kittens, which I think are Hoodwink and Flim Flam. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I, I believe those are the two that don't have uh, um, a, uh, adopters yet. Also, uh, Dawes told me that they would be sending me the list of adopters that they know today. So the ones that do have adopters, I will be able to get in touch with you as an adopter or announce to the channel or both. 
so there's that going on. So that, okay, that's news. I said there's no news and now I've talked too much because I still, I would really like to limit this to an hour today. I've got, um, because I've got a lot of other things that I have to get done uh, that are also on a time limit. So it's tricky. So I'm gonna to try to keep this moving today to see if we can get through as much as possible. And then if we don't, I still don't know what to do about it because uh, I did hear that the post office is gonna be open next Saturday. Whether or not I'll be going there, I, I don't know. We'll definitely do a mailbag on the 24th, uh, next Saturday on the 24th. And I think uh, what we can do is just do a great big day before Christmas catch up mailbag and get done with everything that, that uh, still is, is done the day before Christmas. I think that's a good idea. And I think it works for me, sort of the Christmas Eve mailbag, spectacular with whatever's left. I, I think that's a good plan. Um, so that's the way I'm leaning right now is we'll do an hour today. Anything we don't get to today and anything that arrives during the week, uh, we do it all Christmas Eve, um, I think. Let's go with that for now. Though. I think that should be the plan. So uh, Christmas Eve day, I should say, because, you know, we do it. We still do it, I think, in the morning. Uh, OK. Wow, this uh, this reminds me of um, that that uh, New Orleans artist that does the blue dogs. Uh, it's uh, poinsettias and a blue cat. Uh, I can't think of the name of that artist though. Uh, also, this looks like uh, maybe a custom card because it just says Walgreens photo on the back, which is pretty cool. Right here it says, "May your holiday season blossom in true goodness." <laughs> you guys, these guys are just biting and all the noises. My goodness. All right, it says, hello, well, another busy year has passed and it's been quite eventful. It doesn't feel as if a year has passed since I had last sent you mail. Uh, like, I, oh, like I did last year, I decided to send you a card that I had designed. Oh, there we go. I made the artwork while I was cat sitting. I had two furry supervisors watch me make it. Anyway, considering Thimble's arrival, I wonder if we're going to have Christmas kittens. I hope all of the humans and cats of Kitten Academy remain happy and healthy, and I wish for a great 2023 from Angela, who is Pesto Mayo. Uh, uh, Pesto Mayo, thank you so much for sending this. This is some really great art, actually. So I, I kind of thought it was custom. I didn't realize that you had designed it. Uh, I wish I could think of the name of the one, the guy that does the blue dogs, um, who I, I think is from New Orleans, uh, does a lot of jazz uh, sort of stuff, I think. Uh, really, the, the cat reminds me of that uh, in a way. And it's not the same. It's not like you copied it or anything. Cause it's, you, anybody that would look it up would say this is not at all like that. But it's reminiscent in a way. It's, uh, it's very artistic, and I love it. Thank you so much, uh, Pesto Mayo. Thanks for writing. And I love uh, what you said about it. It doesn't seem like it's been a whole year since you wrote last. Uh, well, it doesn't because we see you on Discord all the time. But it also... Boy, is that relatable where I just, these days, I'm like, oh, I've been putting this thing off. I better get to it. And then I look at the clock and then I look at the calendar because I'm like, whoa, uh, how long has it been? Uh, and the the uh, the t-shirts, actually, this gives me a good excuse to bring up the t-shirts. That's one of those things where uh, it definitely has been on my like to-do list uh, every day. And I think about it all the time. I'm like, oh, man, I really got to get to that and check it out and see what I can do. And a couple times I have tried to get the t-shirt designs up and failed and I'm like okay well we'll try again another day and uh, then just today I found a way finally to get them up uh, which I don't have to get into but we put up the Tommy Tom out design today uh, as, a, as a way to prove that that worked after failing a couple times this morning already um, and, uh, and then I realized as I was adding it to the website that it's been like uh, that was supposed to go up I think in October or something like it's been months it just it seems like yesterday it's crazy uh so yeah that's very relatable but has it really been a year already uh is that's my life uh who can who can believe it uh all right hi do you want to chew on this all right you help me open it buddy <laughs> you want to help me open it you know we sent out all of our christmas cards and these kids were up there the whole time that gj and i were sort of putting them in envelopes and addressing them uh, not addressing them but stamping them um and uh we tried to get the kids to bite on them because we thought that would be kind of a cool way of signing them and they just most of it they just wouldn't participate 
they bid a few. Uh, they bid a few without us even asking. But then when we were asking, they were like, "Nope, not going to do it." Uh, here they are biting the parts. So whatever. This is really cool. This is a, a sort of a 3D because it's a, a cute little. It looks like um, a pencil sketch, but it's also got some shiny uh, gold um, foil on it, and it's got a big piece of felt for the Christmas hat. So it's like super uh, fuzzy and 3D. Very cool way, uh, mixed media, I suppose you would call that. And it says, wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, happy holidays to you and all the felines from Lily Cat and Zara. Thank you so much, Lily Cat. That's a very cool card. Okay, we'll put that right here for you to bite on some more. Oh, uh, Polska. Wow, and that is some handwriting on there. Uh, look at that. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. Wow. Okay, very shiny card. It's got a, a family of cats sitting in a window looking out at people building a snowman and a little Christmas village and Santa and his sleigh flying over the village at night. Very cool. And there's a note right here that says, please kiss the nearest kitten from me. There you go. Uh, it says, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you so much for yet another wonderful year full of love, cats, kittens, funny shenanigans, tears of joy and happiness. Can't believe it's my sixth year at KA, uh, with KA. When the world's, when the world stops, there always is a crazy kitten running around the academy Hope it stays that way for uh, one, no, two, no, every year. Wishing you love, hope, and peace, as well as less poop on the carpet and many, many treats. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year. That's K-A, happy, I think, uh, New Year. From Scanoodles, a.k.a. Scan. Oh, thank you. It's so nice to hear from you. I should have guessed um, from from uh, the, the uh, postage, but... I didn't somehow. Uh, it's great to hear from you. Thank you for writing. And uh, that is a great card and wonderful sentiment. Thank you for, for sticking with us. And uh, we're just we're really glad to have you. So, yeah, uh, it is. It's, uh, it's nice. The fire's not the only thing that's warm in here. I'll tell you that. Okay. Uh, let's see. This says Kitten Academy, and it has some stickers on it, but the stickers have been kind of torn in shipping. Um, the ones on the back, anyway, you can see. I think it was an eagle. It really looks like an eagle to me. Bald eagle. Now he's really bald. <laughs> he's headless. Uh, wow. Can't get much more bald than that. Oh, okay. This is so sweet. You guys sent us some gift cards. This is, uh, that's wonderful. They're Starbucks cards, too. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to put those right there so they don't, don't go to the wrong place. So first off, we have a starlight man that says, Merry Christmas. I was waiting for the perfect gift to jump out at me. Oh, and it did. And that's a, it's a pop-up uh, gift thing that's very cute. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the jumping uh, pop-up is very cute. Whoop. Uh, okay. It says, uh, Merry Christmas, y'all, from Ginger Cat Lover. Oh, thank you so much. And you've, I also added little unicorn cat stamps to it. Uh, you've got a variety of unicorn cat stamps. That's pretty cool. All right. Thank you so much for the Starbucks. That is going to go a long way. Uh, I really appreciate it. Okay. This on the outside says it is from the underscore kitten. And also it has... Thomas Kincaid's uh, Painter of Light all over the outside. So I'm guessing I, I know exactly who this artist is going to be. Yes. Oh, man, what a way with light uh, and um, uh, usually flowers. But this time we've got lots of snow. Um, as you can see, that's clearly a Thomas Kincaid. Except it's got a little extra glitter on it. He's not exactly known for his use of glitter. Um, and it says, warm moments, happy memories, wishing you these at Christmas and always. Merry Christmas from a scribble, uh, a.k.a. the underscore kitten, uh, Awar. Uh, there we go. Inside, we also have a written out note. Oh, and a, a cash donation. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to put it right in the box while we read this. There we go. Uh, it says... Morning, Kitten Academy. It has been a very long and difficult year. I'm very grateful and thankful for everything Mr. A and Dr. DJ does. 
a big donkey to you. Kay Hay is a good escape from everyday life. The kittens are a blessing to everyone. I've included a small donation to use as you see fit. I wish I could do and send more, but the rescues I take care of have stretched everything thin. Tell Dr. Katz happy holidays and thank her for all of her help with the cats and kittens from KA. Hopefully next year things will return to somewhat normal if there is such a thing. May you enjoy comfort and peace this holiday season. May your wishes and dreams for the new year come true. Many well wishes. The underscore kitten. Uh, AWAR, I know A-W-A-R is your uh, shelter charity, and I, I just I can't remember now what that stands for. I'm sorry. Um, uh, animal, well, uh, okay. Uh, I'm sure one of the A's is for animals. This is cute. Uh, we got a lobster that's saying, what is this? We have a uh, poop wearing a Santa hat says, Merry Poopmas. And then it says, what kind of bike does Santa Claus ride? A Holly Davidson, of course. Uh, thank you so much uh, from the underscore kitten. And uh, first off, let me say, do not worry about not being able to do more for us. You've done plenty for us, and uh, we've got, you know, uh, we're we're doing we're doing okay. So that is the the least of things for you to worry about. Um, it has been a long and difficult year, not just for for you and for us, but for everybody. I'm sure, um, you know. Uh, it may not be as much about COVID, but there's certainly lots of other concerns that people have had uh, this year, and I can understand that. And a lot of those do make it difficult to, uh, I think, put Kitten Academy, um, give Kitten Academy the priority that maybe people have given it in the past. I completely understand. You really you have to look out for yourself first. You've got to take care of yourself. Uh, and your things that are close to you, too, uh, before you, you think about um, anything like contributing to KA. Uh, and and we're going to be okay, uh, for sure, one way or the other. So um, take, take care of yourself, I guess, is the message I'm going for there. All right? And, and we really appreciate just hearing from you. That's wonderful. And we appreciate the small uh, donation, too, or, or generous, I should say. You said small. I was just sort of quoting you there. Um so uh, thank you so much, though. Uh, that, that's what I mean. Okay, there we go. This is uh, Santa holding a cat who's holding a present. It's very cute. It says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and KA community, have yourself a cuddly little Christmas. We've enjoyed watching all of the kitten antics this year. We wish everyone a happy holidays and a happy new year. Love, Franny, Jeff. Moo Moo Kitty, Dobby, and Naughty Little Tigger. That's that's a cute name. <laughs> I love it. So uh, there are uh, this this. Uh, I love the way he's holding the cat like a like a baby. Like I like to hold all the kitties too. It's very on point for Kitten Academy. So Franny, Jeff, and then the, your cat names are wonderful. Moo Moo Kitty, I love it. Dobby and Naughty Little Tigger. Uh, really, uh, a cat that's got a personality and a name all in one. Okay. Uh, oh, this one's already open. All right. Well, it made it all the way here, so that's good. It says, North Pole All-Stars coming to town. And then we have the 12, uh, I'm sorry, nine uh, reindeer by name. Dancer wearing uh, what appear to be headphones, not earmuffs. That's cute. They do each have their own personality in their little uh, picture there. That's, that's adorable. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, Custard, Maggie, Eddie, Ari, Loganberry, and all mom, cats, and kittens, Merry Christmas from Dennis and Linda. Thank you, Dennis and Linda. That's a very sweet card. I like the little hipster uh, reindeer. That's the word I'm looking for. How they're each different. Very cute. Okay, you keep working on those cards. Now we're gonna open these letters, and I left all of the boxes over there, but as soon as we're done with the letters, I'll get up and get some. This says, this is addressed to Coronation School. Interesting. Let's see what that's all about. Or addressed from, I should say, Coronation School. I thought that was interesting. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay, uh, hang on a second though. We've got some papers in here. Oh, oh, look at that. This is so cool. 
It says, good day, Mr. A. My name is Jennifer, and I'm a teacher at Coronation Elementary School in Montreal, Quebec. My class has been looking at Kitten Academy daily since September. Uh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm a longtime fan and introduced the children to your site in the hopes that they may hey, now. Whoa, whoa, we already lost a tail. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh, kittens, it's a, it's a massacre. Um, I am a longtime fan and introduced the children to your site in the hopes that they would enjoy it as much as I have these past several years. They love watching the shenanigans of the kittens and how they spend their day. Enclosed are letters and drawings for you uh, from the children. We are also sending a small donation to Dawes. The students were very proud to raise money for them. Thank you for everything you do. The cats are very lucky to have you and your wife taking such good care of them. Have a wonderful holiday. Sincerely, uh, we'll say Miss Joaquin. I think I'm saying that correctly. I'm, uh, I don't, is that what the students would call you? Your name is Jennifer. That's cool. Look at this guy. Wow. Gangster. These are all so cool. Um, this is, looks like he's sticking out a big tongue, uh, but he's got a little tongue. So this is just a patch on his belly, which is also cute. Is that a top hat? Oh my goodness. Uh, each of these are also two pages, so I think each of them have a little note from the kids. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are so cool. I want to give this even more attention. We've already lost two tails to the kittens. Uh, I want to give this even more attention than, than uh, we probably have time for today. I wonder how we can do that. Uh, maybe I can put these up. Uh, oh, wow, the kittens really want to help, though. Mayhem. Absolute mayhem. We'll go through each of them real quick right now, though. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, so here we have a, a very gangster kitty wearing a dollar sign on a uh, um, on his chain. Oh, I don't know how they've signed these, so let's not, let's not show all that. But this says, Dear Mr. Chris, I like your cats because they're cute. Aw, that's so sweet. <clears throat> here we have, uh, um, these are cute, like uh, anime eyes that you put on here. And this one says, Dear Mr. Chris, I like watching your academy. Your cats are fun when they are scampering. It was so fun to watch. Aw, thank you so much. Uh, Dear Mr. Chris, I like to watch the kittens scatter around your house. The kittens are so cute. I wish I could adopt one. How many toys do they have? How many kittens do you have? I like the black and white dotted cat. You did a great job taking care of them. I like when they say meow. I like the cats and kittens so much. Do you have other pets? Oh, wow. Well, uh, we don't have any other pets right now, just the cats. But we have had a dog in the past, and we're looking at probably bringing another dog in eventually, uh, in due time, as we like to say. And uh, I love the little red and green. This one's also got a little red and green hearts for eyes. How cute is that? Um, I like cats. I love to watch the kittens. The kittens are so cute. Yes, they are. Uh, here we've got one that's done with pencil and shading uh, and some, some fine pencil work, too. Uh, this one says, Dear Mr. Chris, I love to watch the kittens. They're so cute. I like them because they look like fun to play. They certainly are. Uh, this one uh, is making a cute little smiley face, and it says, I love to watch the kittens play. I love the kittens when they roll. I love the kittens because they look so cute. I love the kittens when they pop out. I love the kittens a lot. I love the kittens when they play together. Wow, that's uh, almost Dr. Seussian. I like it. Very good. This one reminds me of Scooty, and it says, Dear Mr. Chris, I love team cats. They are fun. Oh, and on the inside tail, we've got uh, drawings of a guy holding a cat and some food and another cat. Very nice. These were sent all the way back in November. Some of them are dated. Uh, this one looks just like Ari with big eyes and everything. Dear Mr. Chris, uh, let's see, reminds me of, of your pet. Yes, it does. That's what I said, too. It does remind me very much of little Ari. This one is a stripey kitty, and he's looking very mischievous. And it says, Dear Mr. Chris, I love the kittens. They are so cute. I see them. 
uh, Ron, I think it says. Thank you so much. Uh, this one is very colorful with a big monster mouth, and it says, Dear Mr. Chris, I love to watch the kittens. I do, too. Uh, we've got one here that's got uh, stripies, very stripy kitty. It says, Dear Mr. Chris, I like how your kittens play together. I like the baby kittens because they're cute. It looks like fun for the kittens. It certainly is. All right. Uh, now, I think, let's see. Well, we, we've got a... Uh, is this, no, this is a different gangster kitty. Wow, we got a theme going on here. Dear Mr. Chris, I like your cats because they're cute. Your cats are so funny. I loved it when the babies were born. Me too. Uh, maybe that is the same one. Because uh, we've got the top hat here. Dear Mr. Chris, your Academy was the best. Was the best. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my favorite part was when the babies grew up. <laughs> mine, mine too. That's great. That was my favorite part as well. Uh, this one says, I love kittens. I love them. Aw, too sweet. And uh, what a cute little face on this one. Here we've got one that looks just like Hoodwink, and it's got an extra little uh, comic. It says, uh, meow, saying meow. I like to watch your kitten a cat a me. Ooh, a pun. I like it. Thank you for taking these videos. If I'm watching, I want to have one of the dotted kittens. You are the best kitten teacher. Have a great day. Aw, oh, thank you so much. And this one with cute pink ears. Dear Mr. Chris, I love your kittens. The kittens have a lot of toys. I like it, and it is uh, it is cuter since it is alive. Aw, oh, thank you so much. All right. Well, we're going to have to do something really special with these. And um, uh, Ms. Jennifer, thank you so much for having your class do that. I hope it was a good exercise for them. I can't tell you how special and touching that is. That's that's one of the most wonderful things. Um, that's, uh, I just, oh, thank you so much. Wow. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe if uh, maybe if you can find a way to let me know next time you will. Oh, hi, hi, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so bitey. Uh, next time you'll be watching in the class, let me know. Maybe we can give you a little shout out on the stream. That would be fun for me too. Uh, unfortunately, we got to move on from that. We have to try to get through as much of this mail as we can today, but that's just heartwarming and special. Thank you very, very much. Okay, what a what a great and talented class you have too. All right, so here we have the James Bay Beacon. I almost said James May. Uh, wow, and look at that. That's a cool uh, stained glass right on the front. James Bay Beacon. Uh, oh, two copies. Great photography and color choices here. Whoever their, their photography newspaper uh, photographer is does a, does a wonderful job. Oh, and these are those like little neighborhood uh, libraries that we saw for a while. That's cool. Uh, that must have really taken off there. I remember seeing a lot of that online. And then we have some postcards, uh, one with this beautiful fall colors. Uh, from Victoria, B.C., and uh, it says the Japanese Garden. Wow. And then we've also got Christmas lights. Have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year with all the best wishes from Paula. Okay. And finally, the note. Okay to read on stream. Good. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Kahootie's cuties are beyond adorable. Every time I think I've settled on a favorite, another beautiful little face appears on screen and I fall in love with a different kitten. I'm looking forward to the new mom cat arriving. It's wonderful to know there will be new tinies to watch soon, no matter what their mom looks like on the outside. <laughs> By the time you get this, I'll be in Germany visiting my son for three and a half weeks. I haven't seen him since 2019, so I'm really looking forward to going and touring the Christmas markets with him in the Harz Mountains. My daughter and her boyfriend are coming with, so we've been introducing our cats very slowly so she can leave her cat, Suki, at my house to hang out with Bergie. Both cats are calicos in single cats' homes, so aren't used to being around other cats. Uh, Suki lost her mother when she was two weeks old and was hand-fed until my daughter adopted her at five weeks, while Bergie was fostered with her mom and three brothers until I was lucky enough to get her at eight weeks. Since neither, since then, neither has had contact with other cats. Oh, since they were adopted, 
they're, they're a big communication challenge. So it's been a very interesting and a bit stressful project. We started back in October with Suki coming twice a week for short visits and increasing the time as the girls got to know each other. They've started running up and down the hall together, so I think they're finally becoming friends. One of my daughter's friends will be house-sitting for me while we're away, which was a huge factor in feeling comfortable enough to take this trip. He loves cats and lives with two of them, so I'm confident Suki and Bertie will be well cared for and get the human affection they both need. I'm taking my tablet and hope to tune into the Academy periodically to see the new tinies and watch the Christmas mailbags if I can figure out the time change, which is unlikely. If my feeble math skills fail me, I'll be hap I'm happy to know you'll archive them so I can catch up in the new year. Thanks again for all you continue to do to provide your many fans, the faculty, mom cats, and kittens with a home full of light and love. Have a Merry Christmas and all the very best in 2023. Yikes, time flies. Paula in Victoria. Paula, thank you so much. And thank you for sharing that uh, uh, information about how you're trying to introduce your cats so you can go on vacation. Uh, I think that's a wonderful thing to do. And what a, what a, it's, it's great that you started so early and that you, you really are committed to spending the time it takes. And I think it's a great illustration to people about um, some of the challenges that, that you face being a cat, a responsible cat owner, and wanting to do things like go away on vacation. Um, and also it just introducing cats generally can be a real project. And it's wonderful to see that you've taken it on and I hope it was in the end uh, ultimately successful. And I hope you're having a wonderful time there in Germany with your family, which is family so important and we've all I think i uh, got a lot of catching up to do on that front. In fact, uh, I have to call my mom again. I called her yesterday, and she was uh, out volunteering for her animal shelter, so she couldn't really chat. Uh, but I, I've got to call her again and we can catch up, I hope. Uh, how cool that she's doing that, though. I think that's uh, super special. So, okay, now let me grab a stack of these boxes, and we can see how much we can continue to do. Oh, very heavy box on the bottom here. I'm not even going to try to pick it up. We're just going to slide it on over. Oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, ah. Can I sit here? You want to do mailbag from here? Mayhem? You want to start mailbag now? Okay, open these boxes. Oh, she looks like she wants to get started on that, actually. <laughs> okay, from Lisa Four Kittens. And this one is addressed to uh, Kitten Academy Cahooties and new mom Edwina. All right, so this is clearly for the new mom. Uh, must have been before she was named. Oh, and the notes right here on top, perhaps? No, those are just receipts. There's the note. Oh, well, we know what this is, I think. Do you guys know what this is? Because I do. It says... Chirpy balls, six total for the Kahoot kittens and one for Thimble. Kahoot should already have hers and her endowments from Lisa for kittens. And in case you don't know what these are, uh, these are the set of three oh, electronic balls. Um, and uh, let's see, here we go. It's, it's three different colored sort of light uh, pith balls. They're very light. Oh, Oh, hey, these are a little different now. The old ones were uh, like a solid pith. These are furry. Uh, that's different. I'm not going to activate them. They each have a little tab you pull out to let the battery contacts meet. Um, but uh, I'm sure they have the same sounds as the ones that are the sort of pithy ones. Pithy? That means something else, doesn't it? Uh, and each color has a different sound. So one of them makes bird sounds, one of them makes cricket sounds, and one of them makes frog sounds, which is pretty cool actually and uh, assuming they're the same sounds as the ones that we've played with here in the past um they're they're a lot more realistic than than most of them are and they each do a variety of sounds so it's not just the same exact sound every time although there's i think there's only like two or three sounds so if they're getting played with a lot it is going to repeat and uh, drive you crazy uh, but the kittens love them they love that kind of stuff and uh, i like them too i like the electronic sound toys uh, Sometimes I wish they would be a little quieter. 
So, all right, uh, six balls. That's one for each of the, the kittens and one for our new mom cat. And I'll just put those right back in there for now. Thank you so much, Lisa, for kittens. All right, this is a recycled box from, oh, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, it says Ubinam Rosarium. I think that's right. And I know you on Discord, uh, but I've never had to say your name out loud as far as I know, have I? Maybe. Let's see here. And something, oh, written, uh, wrapped in a newspaper. Oh, wrapped in a newspaper, we have a tin. Let's see if this is what it says it is. I think it is. Yes, oh, thank goodness. Trader Joe's Stroop Waffle Dutch Caramel Waffle Cookies. Well, yes, that's exactly what a Stroop Waffle is. I didn't know Trader Joe's had a Stroop Waffle or such a fancy tin uh, to put them in. If you are not familiar with Stroop Waffle, I guess they've kind of become associated with Kitten Academy, at least from our perspective. Um, but uh, they are something that I associate with Kitten Academy because I had never heard of them until someone sent some for Mailbag several years ago. And ever since then, I have been a devoted fan of the Stroop Waffle. Uh, it's just a, it's just a little flat cookie that's got caramel on the inside of it. And it's made to like put over your tea while it's steeping and that heats up the cookie and you eat it. It's wonderful. Uh, although I think my favorite way to eat them now is frozen because they, they got this nice snap and crunch when you, when you bite into them, but then they become like this chewy caramel mess as you're chewing on them. Uh, so that's pretty fun too. These are, these are great. Thank you so much for that. Um, from, uh, I, and again, I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing your name right, Ubinam Rosarium. There's also a piece of newspaper here, and I know you didn't send this for me, it's just packing material, but it's the comics page. What? Oh man, so I might have to read it anyway. The Seattle Times comics page. Ooh. Let's see here. Red and Rover. Oh, Garfield, right there. How about that? Yeah. That's a classic, cute Garfield. He's uh, he's just talking to the camera, and he says, I've got a good home, good friends, uh, good food, and good friends. What more could I want? And then the last frame is, well, since you asked, and he rolls out a giant Christmas list. Uh, that's, that's uh, yeah, very Garfield. All right, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put that right there, too. We're going to have the shoe waffle. Put that all together. Thank you very much. I also, I think there's a message that's waiting for me uh, from you on Discord that I saw, and I haven't uh, looked at it. I've got a big backlog of messages to read on there. Um, anyway, this is from, it says, Karen Sows, and on the we've got some stickers. We've got some cute stickers all around. Oh, there's one I especially love on this side. This says coffee is always a good idea, which I like, but this is a... It looks like a rat or a guinea pig or a mouse, uh, some kind of rodent in a space suit holding a gun. Uh, I don't, that looks like it's gotta be from something, whatever it's from, I wanna see it. That looks pretty cool. Maybe it's just some cool art, I don't know. All right, let's see here. Oh, we got lots of packing material and we've got a note right on the top. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, okay to read on stream. Okay, good. Good to know. This has a kitten that is decorated with little glittery rhinestones in various colors. What a, that's very cool. I don't know if you can see all those little rhinestones stuck on there. And it says, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for all you do to help out mom cats and their kittens. It is a sacrifice to foster all these beautiful cats and kittens, and you both do this with such love and grace. You also help us humans by helping the world be a better place. It never fails to make me smile and giggle, always lifting my soul, and helps me have hope as well as making me feel happier. I wish you both, the faculty, and all the students at Kitten Academy a Merry Christmas and all good things in 2023. Much love from Karen Sows. Uh, and then there's another note, okay to read on stream, good. Uh, it says, I'm sending a few goodies for you both to enjoy. All these candies are made by hand. 
I found them online. They are family owned for the last 100 years. Mr. A, for you, chocolate covered macadamia nut clusters and hot stuff hard candy, very spicy. Ooh. Uh, I love uh, anything chocolate covered in macadamia nuts. I'm told they're like the most expensive nut. And I just, they've got a great texture to them. They're wonderful. Uh, those must be great. Also, for Dr. D, we've got pecan turtles or pecan turtles, depending on where you're from. Uh, Hercules candy frequently uploads videos of them making the candies so fascinating. I love videos of people making um, uh, making candy and pecan turtles are so yummy. That's a caramel with pecans and chocolate. In the large plastic bag are handmade catnip toys. A portion of the sales are donated to the UC Davis Feline Cancer Research Fund. UC Davis does some great stuff. That's who uh, Port uh, made the giant donation to. And uh, many of you helped with that um, donation. That's wonderful. So uh, not the Feline Cancer Research Fund, one of their other feline research funds, but I believe it was UC Davis, right? Uh, anyway, I love this. You may distribute as you see fit. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's see all that stuff you were talking about. All right. Well, it's each and one is individually wrapped in bubble wrap, so we're going to have to take it out to be able to really see it. So we have Hercules, or Hercules, yes, Hercules candies, macadamia clusters, and they look like dark chocolate with macadamia nuts in it. Oh my gosh, that's going to be fantastic. Um... Yeah, I've been eating way too much chocolate already. I don't know how I'm going to keep myself from this. <clears throat> All right. Oh, these are DJ's uh, Hercules Candies Pecan Turtles, or Pecan Turtles. All right. Here are the Hot Stuff Hard Candy. Very interesting. <laughs> you did a good job wrapping these up. Oh, wow, it's a variety. Uh, they must all be hard, uh, and they must all be hot candies, but I'm surprised. I expect them all to be the same, but it's like a classic variety of hard candy shapes and colors. Very cool. And then at the bottom of all of it, we should have, I think, a bag of UC Davis. Oh, it's a separate bag. Uh, Cat if toys, perhaps. All right. Keep digging. Oh, these, <laughs> these are cool. We have Cool Ranch Burritos. I did not expect these to be uh, adorable. There we go. Two bags of burritos. So there's are also treats. And what else? A bag of the original cat treat, Cat Nip. And it says ice cream cookies dipped in chocolate coating. Uh, that's really cute. I don't know what that's a reference to, uh, but I think I should. I mean, I should. Like, it, it seems to be an ice cream sandwich that I need to be familiar with. We have Shenanigans Coffee. Ugh. I love all these brand parodies. They're wonderful. Oh, we got a couple of Shenanigans Coffees. We have uh, some repurposed denim. Uh, made into these little triangles with strings. Oh, and the uh, strings, separate strings. These have come off. Looks like these were supposed to be labels that have uh, come off. That's okay. The little denim triangles are very cute. What a way to recycle, too. I definitely proof. We have W's and W's. <laughs> That's a great parody. <laughs> and we have big G's. Uh, it says, <laughs> instead of saying... Instead of saying peanut butter cups, it says two deli ham cups. Well, I mean, that sounds gross to me, but I get that it would be perfect for kitties. Those are so fun. I just love that brand. The brand parodies are uh, wonderful. Those are so on point. Uh, wonderful. Just awesome. Thank you uh, a million times for that and for the candy for us. The W&Ws might be the best parody, but also... Ham cups, really, uh, that's that's fantastic. W's and W's. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's great. Henry Noodle, by the way. There's a Henry Noodle sticker on the outside, too. So I'm guessing Henry Noodle is the their cat they brand. Oh, all of these have Henry Noodle. Henry Noodle. That's great. Noodle is one of DJ's favorite cat names. Uh, so uh, she would love Henry Noodle. I love Henry Noodle. Don't we all? Okay. Uh, let's put those over here. Let's put those right there. Let's keep rolling. This is the very heavy box. It says heavy. Oh, and it's very heavy because it has two oh, boxy cat litters in it. That's wonderful. This is exactly the litter that we use. So this is literally the perfect gift, and we will end up using it for certain. And it says, oh, yes, I would have guessed. Welcome, Thimble and her kittens. The usual practical items from Raylene and Zenithon. Thank you, Raylene and Zenithon. And uh, I know you sent me a message saying, uh, could you send us some KMR for the kittens that were just born? Uh, but uh, I was saying, I hope that we don't actually have to feed them for very long. And in fact, we didn't. We only had to feed them one time. Plus, we've got a big stock of the dry KMR right now. So we're pretty, excuse me, set up on that front. I don't know. This little sticker must have fallen off one of the boxes. This cute panda bear holding a donut. Okay, I'm going to slide this out of the way. Whoa! And we're going to bring in some more, hang on, stuff. Up and down. Okay. Hi, Kahooty wants to help. Oh my goodness, she's so Kahooty curious. I don't know. I tried to make that one word and it just wasn't going to happen. I'm turning off the fireplace because it's getting too warm. I wish I could turn off the fan because it's a little noisy, but uh, I'm going to leave the fan running for a little while until the fireplace is cooled off. It's cool to have one. I can just flip the switch to turn it on and off, but it's a real fire fireplace, uh, and, and it works without any electricity. I don't want to get too much into it, but I had to look it up to figure out how a, a, an actual electrical switch could turn on and off a fireplace without having any power. It's not hooked up to anything. Um, how is that even possible? And it turns out the way it's possible is actually fascinating. I, again, I don't want to get too far off on a ramble about something that's not kitten related, but it is so cool. There's a pilot light in there, which is just a little tiny flame that burns all the time, and uh, it uses that to light the rest. But then the pilot light uh, burns into or onto a, a little uh, thermocouple uh, device that generates just a little tiny bit of electricity when it heats up. Just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of electricity. Uh, so the fact that the pilot light is burning onto that makes just enough charge for that switch to work. It's very clever. All right, this is from uh, Barley the Cat. Okay, Barley the Cat. Oh, and it appears to be a letter in a letter. Okay. I hope I didn't show off any addresses there. And uh, I think I'm going to need a letter opener. I did not expect this to be just a letter in here. There we go. You never know. Okay. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Okay. Ooh, this is a kitty who's tangled up in Christmas lights with destroyed ornaments and wearing a Christmas hat and meowing. <clears throat> and it says, Merry Cat's Mess. Yes, indeed. Uh, hello to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens of KA. Thank you for all you do. Best wishes and Happy New Year from Barley, uh, the cat from Boston. Well, thank you, Barley, cat from Boston. And you've also sent us a very generous PetSmart gift certificate that has a beautiful cat on it. It says, oh, wow, very generous. It says, to, to be used as you see fit. To Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens of KA. Well, uh, thank you very much. <clears throat> That's uh, Barley. Uh, we'll say Barley M, cat from Boston. Thank you. Wow. Uh, I need to put this in with the other stuff here because uh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Super generous. Uh, that was very kind of you, Barley. 
Okay, uh, let's see how much of this we can get through. Uh, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Well, that's all it says, though. Okay, maybe there'll be a note on the inside. Barley. I wonder if that's a, a famous cat that I should know better or uh, going to be a famous cat. Up and comer. Uh, Mr. A and DJ, you not only open your hearts and home to mom, cats, and kittens, but to so many like myself, you graciously allow us to share in the experience raising these little angels. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Aw, oh, from Joe and Halfers. Joe and Halfers. What have you sent, though? Something. Something heavy. It says Yankee Candle. Ooh, we like candles. It says Wood Wick Crackles as it Burns. Oh, I think that that's like the one... We had one up there. Where'd it go? Hmm. They have burned out. Okay. I mean, burned up. Uh, like entirely gone. Probably got moved. Well, it just says jar on the outside there. So we're going to have to get it all the way open to see. Whoa, a chocolate layer cake? Oh my gosh, that smells good enough to eat. I seriously want to get a spoon and just dig into it. How do they do that? That's dangerous though. If I start burning this candle, I'm just going to be eating constantly. Ugh. Well, maybe maybe I can pretend it has the other effect and we can just burn this instead of eating a chocolate layer. It smells so legit. Wow. Uh, Joe and Halfers, thank you for the chocolate layer cake. I seriously, I seriously, oof. I seriously could just get a, a spoon and start eating that. <laughs> it looks like it should be edible too. It's got like a like a sheen to it where it looks like some ice cream or something. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow, that's crazy. That is uh, that's very sweet. I don't normally like a sweet scented candles as much. Well, I don't know. Maybe I do. Anyway, this one's a winner. I totally love it. <clears throat> this says from Joy F. All right, Joy F. Good to hear from you. And it appears to be no note, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That doesn't look like a random blanket to me. It is not a random blanket. Look at that. I recognize these beautiful eyes were right on the outside. And I'm like, wow, that looks so much like Eddie. And it is Eddie. That's actually a photo of Eddie. <gasps> Look at that. And here's Maggie and Ari. And it says cats are, wait, no, it says, uh, oh, oh, wow. K.A. Professor of Maub, <laughs> uh, professors of Maub, cats are my favorite people. There we go. Easy for me to read. Wow, this is another great blanket. That's two great personalized blankets. Uh, DJ said, how is she going to pick which one to wear? Uh, I mean, to, to snuggle in. Uh, here we have Logan Berry. And, oh, this looks like custard upside down. I can see him just right from this angle. Hey, buddy. Best cat dad ever. That is so sweet. Joy F, thank you so much. I didn't know that you could have these. This is a great way to print uh, photos on a blanket because they're a little shiny. Uh, it really came out well. That's, uh, that's cool. I didn't know you could get photos printed on a soft, uh, it's not quite Sherpa, but uh, it's just like that, like one of these soft throw blankets. Wow, that's really cool. Uh, I was just going to check to see if we knew, like, where it was printed. But no, there's nothing, nothing to give it away. All right. Well, nonetheless, that is, that's amazing. Joy, I don't even know what to say, except, wow, thank you. All the so many. That's, it's beautiful. And it's wonderful. And TJ is going to flip when she sees this. Wow. Uh, I was just talking to her about her schedule before mailbag, by the way. Uh, she's got to go to work tonight, and she's going to be at work most of the week, and she's going to be working all next weekend. 
I know, which means it's just going to be you guys and me on uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, probably. Now, there's a chance if the hospital is really slow, she might be able to get away and uh, just be on call from here. But uh, chances are that's not out to the know. So we'll see. The note oh, with a smiley face and a stamped kitty. Perfect. And it says... Uh, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ Katz, kittens, faculty, and KA community, I stumbled on KA during the pandemic a few years ago and have been a fan ever since. You are my evening entertainment after a long day at work. It's so relaxing and fun to see the antics of each class and get to know the mom cats and kittens. I'm on Discord, so I get to see the great community there and follow each precious mom cat and kitten or pregnant as they find their forever homes. Each morning, noon, and evening, I hear Mr. A popping open cans of cat food. Haven't stopped to count up how many cans you go through in a day or week, but it's a lot. I'm sending a few cases to contribute to your pantry. Watching on screen, it's incredible to see the love and care Mr. A and Dr. DJ give the cats and kittens from birth to finding their a deuter. Truly amazing. Please use the other items in the box as you see fit. Merry Christmas and best wishes for a joyful holiday season. Sincerely, Devoted Minnesota KA Fan. Well, thank you so much, Devoted Minnesota KA Fan. So first off, we have a three-way blue Christmas um, tunnel, cat tunnel. That is beautiful. And then, as you say, uh, Fancy Feast, Classic Pate. Beautiful. I just had to open a new uh, box of cases this morning. These, uh, we do go through quite a few. I haven't counted lately myself. I, I know we go through at least a tray day, probably more than that. Uh, the last time I was really keeping track was just after this one had her kittens, and they were eating over, um, she ate 20, 21, 22, something like that, cans in one day. Uh, that was right when her kittens started eating, so they helped with that a little bit. But she, that was when we realized that if she was going to get healthy, we had to actually cut her off a little bit and uh, limit her food. <laughs> Otherwise, she'll just eat until she explodes as much as she possibly can. And since then, we have been limiting her food, and it has been working pretty well for her. She has much better poops when you limit it. Uh, she's not super happy about it, of course. She would rather eat all day long everything. And boy, can I relate. Uh, I'll do the exact same thing unless somebody limits my food. <laughs> she's going to get in that tunnel right now whether it's ready or not. <laughs> Oh, that's too much. All right. Oh, there's something else in here, too. Uh, we've got Fancy Feast, purely Fancy Feast cat treats. These are the little tiny packs of fish and chicken that are just fish and chicken. But unlike the filet size ones that we see a lot of, uh, these are just a little bit, which is perfect because it's just the right amount to give to a cat as a treat all at once. Um, so thank you so much for these. They're, they're, uh, they're very useful for treating and for training and for all the things. Now, I almost feel like I can start using this stuff to get organized, but you know what? There's no time for that. Let's keep rolling, and we'll get organized afterwards. Technically, we should be stopping now, but let's, uh, let's go through at least one more. This is a lot of stuff to try to put off. Um, oh, man, how can we stop? How can we keep going, though? It's a, it's a real... Uh, man, conundrum. We're a real conundrum. Let's just grab. Uh, yeah. What to do? I think, uh, you know what? Here, I'm going to take these two because they were right here on top because I said we were going to do a couple more. But I think we are going to put everything else off for a New Year's Day, New Year's Eve Day uh, mailbag. Marathon, yes. Uh, marathon, New Year's Eve day mailbag. Uh, oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. It makes sense anyway. Uh, but let's open these two. We have one here that appears to be, uh, let's see, overseas mail. I covered up the name, but I think I can see who it is. So let's just verify before we start guessing. Ooh. Zest, zingy, zingy orange, not zesty orange, zingy orange matchmakers. Wow, I don't know what those are, but 
Oh, they're like little tiny matchstick chocolates. Orange, you glad you picked me a perfect match. All right. Well, I love uh, orange. I love orange chocolate, and I love a pun that just hits on every level. Also, we have some poetry here, so we know exactly what's going on. Good timing. Uh, from Joanne Kelly, and we don't normally use last names, but uh, Joanne Kelly has always used last names, so we'll go with that. Uh, we have a block print here of some swans, geese, I think swans, and it says, Hello, Mr. A, DJ, and all the furries, just a wee Christmas card from across the miles to wish you a happy festive season and a good new year 2023. I'm enclosing two copies of a poem I've written for Cahoots. One copy is, of course, for the Academy, and one is for the Adutive family. Cahoots and her kittens have been a joy to watch, and their Adutive families are so lucky to be welcoming them into their homes. These are, by the way, geese, six geese a-laying. That uh, should have been more obvious to me. As one year closes and another one opens, all that remains for me to do is to offer you my heartfelt thanks for your unstinting efforts to help cats and kittens. Your devotion to and love of all your furry charges is commendable. It really does make the world a better place. Lots of love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Uh, P.S. I've enclosed a wee sweetie for the Academy's humans. <laughs> a wee sweetie. All right. Well, speaking of wee sweeties, hey, stop biting everybody. We're going to read you a poem, Kahooty. You don't have to sit here for the whole thing. It says, <clears throat> Kahooty, you stole my heart away, and you outshine the sun on even the sunniest day. You're refined and polite. She's about to chop my hand right on the word polite. Did you see that? Uh, you're refined and polite, and you're such a delight. Your sweetness knows no bounds. Kahooty, you stole my heart away by being attentive and loving to your kittens, teaching them to run and play. You've passed all your exams with ease and aplomb. And for me, your purrs and mews sing the gentlest we song. And as the time comes for you to head to pastures new, I wish that you and your kittens will be blessed with adoring humans who will love and serve you and your furry crew I want you to know that although we are many miles apart, that you'll stay in my thoughts and that you'll remain in my heart. That is super sweet. Uh, thank you so much, Joanne, the greatest Scottish fan. And uh, this guy jumping up onto my back as I was reading that reminded me that last night I was standing in the bedroom uh, uh, working on, oh, I was, I was eating pistachios and I was standing in front of the sideboard that's in the bedroom. Uh, and the kittens really wanted to know what I was doing, but they don't know how to get up there onto the sideboard. So they started doing what Astro used to do. They leapt from the bed onto my shoulders. It was mayhem and I think hoodwink. And uh, for a minute last night, I had one on each shoulder, like, like the angel and the devil. And I really wanted to grab my phone and take a picture of them, but I didn't get to it in time. So you just have to take my word for it. It was really cute. Uh, Joanne, thank you so much. I can't wait to try the matchmakers. I love your poetry. I need to take one copy of it right now Oops. and switch it to something that's going to uh, uh, Kahooty, which, well, this kind of, um, I guess... Well, I don't know. I'm going to put it right there for now. We'll figure it out later. At least it's going in the right direction from there. <clears throat> okay, one more box. Uh, then we're going to call it. And I'm so sorry if there was anybody that sent to me thinking you've just been waiting on the edge of your seat for me to open it this weekend. I apologize. I, I wish I could spend all day here, um, but I can't. Uh, for one reason, is you know it's my last chance to spend any time with DJ. Possibly through the end of the year, for all I know. I might have mentioned uh, before one of her co-workers, uh, actually I should say her only co-worker, uh, there's only two people that are in the position she's in, her and her, her co-worker. Um, so when one of them is out, the other really has to do a lot of covering. 
and uh, one of them is out, and it's not DJ. He has gone to uh, have a baby, actually, uh, which he's doing out of the country. I guess it probably his home. I don't. I, I've never met him, so I don't know any of the details. Uh, but he's gone to Korea, and he's going to be there all month uh, having a baby. So uh, you know, presumably his wife is the one having a baby. Um, so that means that DJ does have to put in extra, extra hours right now. And that's why she is going to be at work almost all week. But she's here uh, most of the rest of the day. So that's that's one reason that's, that's important to me. Uh, then there's plenty of other things that I'm uh, not at liberty to discuss yet uh, going on today. So uh, there you have it. Okay. Wow. This is really pretty. But... I, I'm looking, there's, I don't think there's a note here. It looks like a drop shipment from Zulily addressed to, oh, there we go, for KA use however you see fit from Song and, it says Song and Fid, uh, but it's Song and Fiddle, of course it is, use however you see fit. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Song and Fiddle. You have sent us the Rainbow Cat Scratcher very cute. Uh, it is, it's adorable. I love the little rainbow theme, as you know. Uh, and this little kitty on the, the logo is cute, too. So that'll be really fun. Uh, next time, I, you know, I've been collecting stuff for like a unicorn and rainbow theme because I love that stuff myself. Uh, I just do. Uh, this would be perfect to go with that. So this will probably get put with that stuff until it is time. Uh, for now, I'm going to set it right there. And there's another thing in here, too. Let's see, what is it? It's heavy, it's cylindrical, it's carefully wrapped. It is, it is, well, it is, oh, oh a jar, a, oh, a candle. <laughs> it's a candle and it's got a picture uh, of three sort of suspicious looking cats and it says like this, there's a lot of cats in here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that means it's going to smell like cats or it's to cover up for the smell of cats. Let's see here. Burn time, 35 hours. Wow. Oh, that smells wonderful. It's just a, it's a simple uh, French vanilla. Uh, in fact, it says on the top, French vanilla. So. Uh, just real simple, basic, and lovely scent. I'm um, definitely uh, uh, vanilla is something that you can always appreciate. I can always appreciate. Uh, they say plain vanilla, but there's nothing plain about vanilla. In fact, I don't know why plain vanilla is a phrase because there really is nothing plain about vanilla. Like it's an exotic bean that has to be specially harvested, and producing anything from it is tricky. Uh, so yeah, I don't know why they said, but what a what a wonderful fresh smell! And we got vanilla and chocolate cake. I could burn these at the same time. Oh my goodness! I just I, I need to get a spoon. I'm gonna go get a spoon. I'll be right back. Uh, <clears throat> okay. More seriously, uh, I need to get this stuff cleaned up. I need to wrap up the mailbag, and uh, I need to uh, accomplish a whole bunch of stuff today. So. We're going to do that. Again, my, my sincerest apologies to the, the remaining stack of boxes. I see there's at least a half a dozen over there in the corner. Uh, and, you know, I, I wish I, if I, I wish everybody could be on vacation this week, uh, first off. I really do. I think everybody deserves some extra time off right now. Um, but uh, because I can't assume that everybody does have the next week off, I think it's best if we put this off until the weekend. So uh, again, we will we'll pick this up next Saturday at the regular time, 10 o'clock, and we will try to make that just the mailbag marathon, uh, good old school mailbag style. We go at it until we're, we're all the way through. So uh, that'll be the plan. All right. I have some fun stuff to share with DJ today. Thank you to all of you for that. Uh, let me get this stuff put up into its respective places. And then we'll wrap up the archive. And uh, uh, yeah, we'll move on from there. Okay, good. I see you kids are having lots of fun with this packing material, but I gotta pack that material away, all right? 
time. Oh, wow, you really shredded that. Look at that. That's good for shredding, isn't it? <laughs> you really did. Wow, I'm going to have to get the vacuum cleaner to get all that cleaned up. That's super shredded. Good job, kids. Sneak in, and if he did, he would he would definitely get jumped by Kaluuya, and that would not be good for either of them. Sorry, Kaluuya. I know I gotta keep an eye on you. Gotta watch you like a hawk. You know, uh, now that I've left the room and come back in, this whole room smells like a chocolate cake now, just from having had that candle open for a minute. Uh, that, that really gives you an indicator of uh, how strongly chocolate cake that thing is. Wow. Really making me hungry. I should have breakfast before mailbag. W's and W's. <laughs> well, that's going to crack me up every single time. I think we're going to have to save this tunnel for next Christmas. We've already got so many Christmas tunnels out. There's two in here. There's one in there. There's one upstairs. I don't know. You know what? Why not just go nuts? Let's just put them all up. Let's just do it. Hang on. Why not? There's no rules. Christmas time. Well, how do we undo this one? Interesting. All right. It's got those nice little ties on the end. Uh, Buttons, I mean, buttons together. Oh, it's bigger. All right, here we go, kids. All right, now you got two of them. Have at it. Oh, oh my goodness. You all right, bud? Nice, nice job catching yourself there. Man was trying to climb onto the rainbow while it was up in the tree.
As long as I was coming up from the basement, I decided to grab a couple of other Christmas things that were undeployed. Extra Christmassy in here, kids. Attractive anyway. This seems like maybe it didn't get washed at the end of last season. Hmm. Maybe it did. There we go, that stands up better than some. Let's confuse a cat. Let's put it right there and see what happens. Okay, good, good. I think we can finally turn this off. Oh, mail bags over. Oh, that was louder than I thought. My goodness. Sorry, everybody. My apologies. Too late now. Uh, all right. Let's see. Cat treats, people treats, sheets. Eats. Let's see here. I'm excited to start up these candles, actually. I think I'm going to bring them up to my office and uh, just get them going. So it's a good day for candles. It's like a little free heat, right? Okay, one last box. Take this away. That's it. I uh, found a candle lighter. I'm going to bring upstairs with me and the candles. 
Uh, well, I'm going to open that window, too, so that uh, the lighting here gets a lot more dramatic and these kids can have some fun in the sun. It's a very sunny day out. It looks really nice. What's the temperature like? Uh, it's a bit chilly. It's not quite freezing out, but it's close. So, all right. Uh, well, we got that taken care of for the moment, and I know there's plenty more for me to get done in here and around the house and all that kind of stuff, which uh, hopefully I'm going to get to soon enough. I think my, probably my first priorities, though, are uh, eating some food, hanging out with DJ, uh, not getting a spoon into that candle, um, and uh, taking a shower, man. I'm overdue, so uh, we'll see how much of that I can get done right away. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in today for Mailbag. It was real fun having that with you guys. Uh, one more time, I want to say I'm so sorry to anybody whose stuff gets put off till next weekend, but... Um, that'll be, I think the worst of it, um, is, uh, waiting and, uh, anticipating. Um, but, uh, we will, uh, next weekend, make sure that everybody is seen too. So, uh, there you have it. Thanks again to everybody. And, uh, let me end the archive here.